internet welcome back to my channel anyways today we are going to be trying another recipe from the griffiths cookbook the griffiths family recipes cookbook um i did a video like a year and a half ago where i did i think three recipes which was very ambitious today we're doing one and a half we're gonna make Ellie's chicken pot pie, but to make it, you need to do the buttermilk biscuits to put on top. So I'm gonna start with the biscuits. Let's just get right into it. Jazz, that wasn't for you. We have a live studio audience. That would be my cat. Um, I apologize if you hear him meowing at any point. Let's start with one cup. It says, with a pastry fork or cutter, combine all ingredients except for buttermilk. So that's what we're gonna do. So the Griffiths family put out this cookbook. Um, if you don't know who they are, they're a family of YouTubers. They put out this cookbook like a year and a half ago. I pre-ordered it, so I was one of the first groups to get it. Don't really wanna put that in, I'll just put this in. Um, I was one of the first groups to get it. And they recently, put it online with audio recording. So if this turns out really good and you wanna go get it, I'll put a link below to where you can get it online. I don't know if they're still printing the vi physical copy. I really hate this um, salt container that I have because the little top thing is broken. So I'm gonna pour it over the sink. They didn't specify whether the butter should be softened or not, so. Just gonna put it in and go from there. Shortening. Got our big thing of Crisco. I had a lot of comments on the first edition of this that I did that you couldn't hear me very well because I was so far away from the camera. Well, this time I'm shooting it on my iPhone, which I realized has much better audio and visual quality than my nice camera. So iPhone XS, it's where it's at. That's what I've, I'm using now. And hopefully that sounds, sounds and looks better. I mean, I'm sure it'll be of similar visual quality. So we got those things. That is everything except for the buttermilk, which I did. I made the buttermilk from 2% milk and lemon juice because we aren't gonna use a lot of buttermilk if we were to buy it so i figured you know just make it with something that we would use sorry something that we would use so i don't have a pastry cutter so i'm gonna use a fork so after trying very long and hard with these forks my mom told me we do have a pastry cutter so this is making my life a lot easier. If you've never used one of these before, you basically just use a back and forth rocking motion um, to break everything up and combine it. So this makes it a lot, a lot simpler. Okay, now we're adding the buttermilk a little bit at a time until you have a desired consistency. It doesn't say whether you should keep using this to mix it once you have the buttermilk in here. Um, I might, just because I'm already using it, and it's not quite, quite mixed up. A little bit at a time. I'll come back to you when we're ready to pour it out. All right, so I put the biscuit mat batter over to the side because we are um, gonna, I wanna, words, let's think. I wanna get the, inside of the pot pie ready before I like roll out the biscuits and cut them out. So like my goal is to have all of this stuff ready and you need to cook it for 15 minutes before you put the biscuits on top. So in those like 15 minutes, I'll roll it out and cut them out and put them on top. So let us start. We're gonna move over to the stove and get going. So in the recipe, it says to use a large skillet and then um, later on you add like all of the stuff to the large skillet and I don't have a skillet large enough. This isn't my largest skillet, 
but the largest one I have isn't much bigger. So I'm going to do all of the vegetable stuff and whisk in the flour in this, and then I'll transfer it over to this big pot to add the liquid and stuff, just because I think that would work better for what I have. So I'm gonna turn on this light. In a large skillet over medium heat, we're going to melt the butter. I probably could cut that up a little bit, make it go faster. My studio audience remains. He is um, rubbing his face against the tripod. So he's very excited now because my mom finished. Um, she helped me shred the chicken, so he's very excited. Hi, Jazzy. You, you smell the chicken? The butter is melted, so we're gonna add our onions and our carrots and celery. I do have, I have all of my ingredients already out and pre-measured except for the thyme. Just really easy to add it all and combine it. So it says, obviously I already explained the skillet thing, I just transferred the stuff into um, this pot and I've been mixing in the flour. Um, it says to whisk it in, but I don't really know how you can whisk with such, like with the vegetables in there. So I'm just using the same wooden spoon. And um, when I transferred it, a lot of the butter like um, evaporated and cooked off. So I added a little bit of broth to help with the flour because it didn't really have anything to cook into and it started sticking to the bottom. So now, I'm gonna slowly add the broth, milk, and thyme. So I'm gonna add a little bit more broth. Not all of it yet. We're gonna mix that in. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk as well. Check. My mom is gonna help roll out the buttermilk biscuits. So it says to knead gently two, three to four times and then roll into a half inch. Okay, I'm gonna add, it says, it gives you a measurement for the time, but it's such a small measurement, I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna add some more broth, the rest of the broth actually. I'll do half of what's left of the milk. And it says to cook for five minutes. So, it is 6.25 now. Okay, we'll be back. Um, gonna wait five minutes, add the chicken in. It's been six minutes. Now we're gonna add the peas and the chicken. There we go. I let the frozen peas sit out of the freezer. I pulled them out of the freezer when I um, pulled out my other ingredients. So. Jazzy, it's going bye-bye. There goes all the chicken, Jazzy. And the next instruction is to add to your baking dish. So, um, I'm just gonna make sure it's well combined. Give it a second to heat up and then I'll pour it. This is the dish that we're using. Looks like this. Kind of similar to the one that Ellie's using in the picture. Hers is a little deeper, but it's fine. Her biscuits end below the rim, so I'm just expecting our biscuits to go above. And we're going to pour it in. I'm just gonna mix it around because it's not too even, so I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible. So I'm going to put it in and bake it. It says 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 15, see how it is. I'm not really sure what to expect after 15 minutes, but we're starting there. I will show you the, um, well, I'll just pick one up. So this is what the buttermilk biscuits ended up looking like after we rolled them out and cut them out. We used this little thing to cut them out because we didn't have like a mason jar lid or a cutter in the size that they recommended. So we cut them out like that and it looks like we got 25. So that's good. It's probably way more than we need. But that's fine. We don't mind cooking up some extra ones. So we're gonna let this go for 15 minutes. I'll add them on top and we'll go from there. We have a couple seconds left until it's time to add the biscuits. So I'm getting out my oven. We're gonna take this out. It just says top with biscuits. So I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna top with biscuits. Alright, 
we're gonna call this our finished product. Um, they're not as golden brown as I'd like, but they're cooked all the way through and they've been in for a while. So I think we are done. Let's give it a taste. It's getting very close to the edge. Finished. Finished delicacy. Um, let's give it a try. What do you think? It's really hot. It's very good. It's hot. I've never had chicken pot pie, so this is my first impression. You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Let's try it with a piece of biscuit. Mm. Well, we need uh, biscuits. Awesome. Yeah, it's very good. Final consensus. It's good. I like it. I think I used 15 to cover it. Tastes very good. I'm very excited. Um, if you guys like this video, feel free to subscribe, like, leave comments. I'm gonna do another part where I make another recipe from their book. Um, maybe next week, maybe the week after, we'll see.